So there is a big ass hole in the engine. Oh my day. Look inside, forget the block. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst things I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> this is the fastest L. I just think I blew up the engine on my M5. Everything was covered in oil. And just like that, welcome to the beginning of the return of the F10 M5. Oh my god, I can't tell you how excited I am. Here she is. Join us on the journey to get this back on road. Here's some footage of what happened. This is the fattest L. I just think I blew up the engine on my M5. As you can see under the car, look at that puddle there, coming from up there. And then it's coming all the way. That's all oil. Uh, if anyone wants to buy anything for an M5, call me. I ain't fixing this, this is that, that'll do. It looks great, but it doesn't work. Oh, and here's my boy, rescue, rescue. Long story cut short, it doesn't work. We think we're missing a rod. Whatever happened, it ain't great. <laughs> We're going now to Boost Tech Performance over in East London and we're going to see if we can rescue this old girl. We're in the truck. We've got Omar. Omar, what up? Omar has very kindly uh, offered me his time and services today. Uh, he owns a company called Rapid Recoveries London and he was like, you know what? I'll just drive the damn thing for you myself. So he's not normally the driver, but uh, he's very kindly hooked me up. We're on the way to East London. We're gonna go meet a gentleman by the name of Nams. Nams is on social media as Nams Boost just down here. He owns a company called Boost Tech Performance and they have undertaken the mammoth challenge of rebuilding this monster. Next stop, Londres, baby. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the place of dreams. Let's make it happen. Let me go find out. Are we here, Omar? Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't tell you, you how excited I am. I'm praying a lot that this just goes smooth. Some YouTube trickery. That was a short one and a half hour journey. F10 is here on the flatbed. There's looks like there's awesome cars here already. Boost Technic Performance. We're here and we're ready. So we've landed at Boost Technic Performance. The F10 is here, ready to undergo probably the biggest surgery of, well, definitely the biggest surgery of its life. Let's hope these wizards are uh, as good as they've been made out to be. In Nams we trust. In obvious F-speed fashion, cars stuck in gear, we had to actually put it on skates and slide it onto the damn thing in the first place. Um, straight away, you know what, the guys got, got to work straight away. They have gotten under the car from here and actually disengaged the gearbox using some override button thingy underneath the car. Uh, so if you've got an F10 M5 and it's stuck in gear, or stuck in park, what you need to do is get under the car and then I'll put a description down in the I'll put a link down below and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Basically you need to take a cover off by the box, pull a lever and it disengages and it goes into neutral. So now this thing's into neutral, <laughs> now we can start doing stuff. Do you know what you're doing mate? Nah, not really. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh my, wow. Yeah, that looks a bit close, right? It's fine, aren't it? It's not fine. I feel like the biggest part of any car thing is always moving the damn thing. Keep coming. Oh, you're off. Wow, that was a precision unload. You see what's happening right now is Nams is getting the mother of all workouts. Putting them biceps to use for once. 
<laughs> no power steering, no battery. And it's a precision move into her bay. Right in time for her heart transplant. To the channel, let me introduce you to Nams, yeah. the owner of Boost Technic and the owner of Nams Boost YouTube channel. Boost Performance. Boost Performance. That's the one, yeah. He's sort of a big deal. Right, I reached out to Nams, I said, listen, it looks like you know exactly what you're doing, can you help me out? Nams said yes. Yeah. So, the story is, driving down the motorway in another foreign country, Yeah. Um, and literally just went drrr, pop. Loads of smoke out of the back. I pulled over into the hard shoulder in neutral. And I mean, when I say the car was covered in oil, the entire back bumper, boot lid, everything was covered in oil. So I've come down to Boost Performance, to Nams, the doctor, to help us get it going. Nams, what's the plan? What's, what are we gonna do? So from what you told me, I know already that you've got a big hole in the block. Yep. All the oil's come out. So there's nothing to check on this car. We're gonna remove the engine out. We already know there's a hole in the block. So we're gonna remove the engine out. Once we do, we're gonna leave it on the engine stand, turn it around, and then we're basically gonna check underneath the car, see the block, start stripping stuff down, and then check for damages. And then obviously we'll know then what else we need from this car. So we've already bought a new block. Yep. We bought just standard F10 forged block. Um, yeah, so we got the block down here. We got the block. Nams kindly has literally been in the background just sending me links and saying, order this, I've ordered this, I've ordered that. So we got the block, we've got the pistons, we've got the con rods, crankshaft. Crankshaft, that's it. So once we get the engine stripped out, we will know if we need to get another crankshaft or not, a new one, because these ones can't be ground down to size. You can't get oversized bearings in them, and you're not really supposed to do it on a V8 engine, especially in a performance one. So um, yeah, let's just get this engine out strip that and have a look and we'll take it from there everyone muslim or not please make a prayer that this is effective simple and cheap <laughs> for those of you that don't know i just blew the e39 m5 engine as well and that seized so i'm in it for a lot nams is also going to tune this this is going to be a full nams build he's like oh shit <laughs> i'm putting you in it but look if it's I, a project isn't it full yeah on. it's a full on project i just feel like if you're going to come somewhere let that one person own the whole thing the whole way through right yeah 100 percent. and this is going to be it's going to be the first fully boost performance, built, tuned, maintained, Correct. everything, yeah. right? 100%. We normally do a lot of engine rebuilds, normally. We do loads of rebuilds, we do like AMGs and stuff like that, but this one, we're going to build it and then we're going to tune it after, so it's a bit different. Can we get a dyno on it as well? Dyno, yeah, you can get dyno on it. As you can see, all the oil went all over the damn pipes, exhaust, all the way to the back of the car. How fast were you going when it happened? About 120. <laughs> You'll be 120 miles an hour when you blew the engine. <laughs> like, can you imagine how it's going to look underneath? Let me just tell you this, the 320 that I was racing... Is that part of it as well? Oh crap. Probably is. So to those that are watching and thinking, what on earth is going on with the wrap on the car? Uh, a couple of friends of mine just yeah, literally wanted to try to learn to wrap, so that's why it's in this condition. It's just a trial wrap uh, to see if they can get their skills yeah. up to level. Uh, to be fair with you, it came out flipping amazing. This was all covered by a carbon fibre diffuser, uh, carbon fibre front splitter, so it was all actually hidden away, so there was no need to sort of tidy these things up. I don't know. I'm just addressing things because people are going to go mad in the comments. So Sean's been investigating, and look at the state of my sump. So, we just found another crack on the sump. Have a look at this. <laughs> Massive crack underneath. So we've got two holes. One crack, one hole. <laughs> look at the state of that. I knew I was coming here for an energy rebuild. I knew I'd done some bad stuff, but I didn't know to the extent of how bad. These are coming home with me. Oh, I've paid, paid good money for this. i paid good money for this metal right here. 25 grand to the <laughs> Yeah, somewhere around 25,000 pounds.
processing every last piece of the uh, itemage off of the flipping car. What we're doing is taking all of the wiring harnesses and ancillaries. Is that what we're doing? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. I'm a, I'm a mechanic now, I'm telling you. So wiring harnesses, ancillaries, all the other bits and bobs to eventually get to get us to a point where we lift the car and the engine stays where it is. And then we get to really find out just the extent of the damage. But to be fair, we know the extent of the damage. Having been under the car, we do know how bad it is. So where we're at now is now the gearbox needs to be dropped. So this surgical looking instrument here is where the patient, in this case, the oil covered gearbox, will rest, drop the gearbox, then start working in and around that engine. Nam, just talk me through what's going on right now. There you go. What's going on right now? So they're gonna drop the box down yeah. with this jack. And the plan is for the engine to go upwards with the crane. Oh, so the engine's not coming out the bottom? No, it's going at the top. So the subframe's gonna be in place. So that's gonna allow us to push the car around while the engine's out. So if you push the subframe from the bottom, the car's gonna get stuck on the ramp. And that there is the gearbox on her way out. And that is how to remove a gearbox from an F10 M5. Is that the clutch? Oh, yeah. oh my god, I'm a mechanic. Right, there you go, that's what an F10 M5 clutch looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and once we have the engine out, we can start really inspecting what's gone on, what actually caused this. We really do need to understand why this engine blew. I personally know it's my driving habits and the fact that I tuned it within an inch of its life, but uh, we do need to dissect it because we need to make sure that we, you know, we, we ensure the integrity of this new build. Last thing you want to do is have an underlying problem and then not address it. So yeah, we'll figure that all out once the engine's dropped. I'm going to carry on standing and watching. My feet hurt so much. Not the right shoes to wear today. Go find me link down below. If I need a crankshaft, it's gonna be there. Click and donate at least a thousand pound each. Help me help you watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, while we're here, all of Nam's socials are now down below. Please click on all the hyperlinks. Follow this man. His last video got Nam's. Go on, tell us a number. One mil. One million views. That's what's up. This one here, what's going on here? Um, that's one of my projects I'm doing at the moment. So the CLS 63 AMG. 5.5 liter V8. Um, the engine was seized when I got it. I've only pulled the engine out, as you can see. And um, the block is over here. So you bought that one seized? Yeah, I bought it as a non-runner. Yeah. I do a lot of non-runners here. Like, personally, I like to do projects on non-runners. Um, I basically fix them up and sell them, make good profit on it. So yeah, this is the block. Got the crankshaft on all the other bits. It's gonna build, start building it back up again. It's a full-on rebuild I'm doing on this. Holy crap. And um, I've already done part one. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see it there. and. Um, Follow the journey. Link up here in the corner somewhere for the uh, for the part one of this. I'm actually watching this avidly. So for me to come here and you know see it, I was like, oh, this is what I've been seeing on YouTube. Okay, stop. Um, this, you know, this. And just like that, the wizards themselves have gotten the engine out of the beast. The heart of the beast is being removed. Oh my god, the engine is out! Are you kidding me? So there is a big ass hole in the engine. Oh my god, look inside, forget the block. <laughs> <laughs> People are talking about the hole, yeah? Yeah. Have a look inside, just look deep inside there. You need every single part for this engine, everything. Oh my there, god. There you go. Oh, it's all gone. <sighs> One of the worst we've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, I, I completed the engine. Nams, that's one day. And one day you guys have managed to get this car off, a, off of a recovery truck stuck in gear. That's it. Get it in the workshop, 
get the exhaust off, get the gearbox off, get the engine out, find out that there's a massive hole, yeah. which is the biggest you've ever seen on an engine. 100%. Based on the speed you're going, it makes sense to see that kind of a hole. Well, I appreciate the fact that you appreciate I've done, the, done justice to an X S63 engine. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's part one. That's F-Speed. That's yeah. NAMS Boost. NAMS Boost, yeah. And uh, look, like, share and subscribe for more. This is just part one. You're gonna be following us through the entire process. Nams. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. Peace.